Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world, you know it is JJ on JJ's PC Built. Now, I know this video y'all were expecting for me to do testing, but it's not going to be a long video. This is actually going to be a mediocre video, but before we get into it, if this is your first time here, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. What I mean by 4,000 watch hours, you watch the videos from beginning to end would be much appreciated. We're trying to work towards monetization. So if you want to help the channel grow and everything else and be a part of the family, make sure you subscribe and watch all the videos. But, and also too, make sure you put some positive thumbs up would be appreciated as well okay now I told you all I had some stuff coming in guess what it got delivered today today so not today you know what I mean by today so this is, this is like a, a recap version of yesterday so it was supposed to come in yesterday but it come in today but anyway, let's just go ahead and get into it, everybody. Look what I got here. Look what I got here. I got right here. This is Corsair. This is Corsair RAM. This is the LPX CL16 3200 MHz right here. 64 gigs 64 gigs of it this is this I'm going to be putting into my PC right here I'm going to be putting this into my PC and also too this right here this box you know what this box is this is a hard drive this is 14 terabyte hard drive I needed it I didn't have any more room left for my videos so I needed something bigger so now I got 14 terabytes I only had 2.3 terabytes to work with so now I got 14 more and if this works out really good then I'm gonna get me another one of these then I have 28 so let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing of of this right here and see what's going on oh yeah let's go ahead and get the camera view down here let y'all see the seal it's still intact i'm gonna have to crack out the good old trusty knife Look at that, just cracked the seal. Let's go ahead and get it open. Wow. It's a heavy one too. Look at this, it is a heavy one. Got an installation book, warranty card. Look, warranty card. Here, let me turn that that way. A warranty card installation book and let's get the box out of the way alrighty go ahead and get this stuff out of the way we'll get to that later this came with this came with a four-year warranty for your warranty so I got a four-year warranty on this drive Wow it's sealed tight let's go ahead and open it up put that right there I'm taking my time with this because I don't want to mess it up, you know. Last thing you want to do is mess up a hard, a hard drive. Alrighty, we're out of the pack. 
Look at this. It's a Seagate 14 terabyte. It's a 14 terabyte Seagate. And it hooks up hooks up just like um, an SSD. It's an Exus X14 from Seagate. It looks like looks like a really good one we're gonna test this out and we're gonna see if it works really well let me go ahead and set this off to the side on a non-static surface we'll put that off to the side on a non-static surface and now we're gonna open up the Corsair RAM I'm sure we'll just gently do this. Because I don't want to rip the box like I did on the graphics card. Oh, wow. Look at this. Vengeance LPX. Certified and ready to roll. Yep. It looks like a good one. DDR4. I'm surprised they put a Peely on the front of that. They put they put Peelys on the front of that. So all good, some wholesome RAM. So we got some nice RAM. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and put you back up on top here. Look, with 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, I got it for 60 or 70 bucks off of Amazon. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Let's take a look real quick and go to the action screen. And let's see what we got. Let's go to Amazon. And let's go to Amazon.com. Let's go to Corsair RAM. Look at that. $79.98 and you can get the RGB for $82 $82.99 they got time tech but that's too slow but you know the way it looks is this is 3600 this is 3200 yeah I know but I didn't want the white ones you know that just I didn't want the white ones you know they wouldn't have worked really good for mine so I mean and I didn't want to spend a hundred and two dollars just to let you know to get those you know I'd rather you know give me the ones I like yes I could have spent 139 bucks but it's still the same price, I think. But this is uh, C18, CL18. And I don't think it would be right from the computer I have. So I got CL16. So I think I got it for a fairly good deal right here. I mean, 32 gigabytes. I mean... 150 bucks for 64 I mean you can't beat that for 64 gigabytes of RAM I mean come on yeah make sure you got your soda too so all in all treetop tall I think it was a, a good deal I know some people would think that I was crazy for spending that much on RAM 
But, you know, when it comes to it all, I think it's a really good deal. So, just to let you know what I picked up for the computer. I picked up some RAM. And I picked up a hard drive. Now I'm going to go and fix it all up together. Well, y'all thought I was done with uh, <laughs> the video. But actually, I'm not. Oh. Sorry about that. Actually, I'm breaking into the video. I actually, I cut off the the ending part, which you guys are going to hear me, you know, say if you like the video, subscribe and, you know, um, you know, the rest of it. So we're not there yet. So I'm breaking into the video. I'm kind of modifying this a little bit. The reason why I'm modifying this is because now... You, when you guys seen the first part of this, I was saying, you know, I got 64 gigs of RAM in here, which I do, believe it or not, I got 64 gigs of RAM in here, and I redid where the video card was, just to let you know, I found a couple problems <clears throat> that were easily to be resolved, it was with the hard drives. So, let me show you what I got cooking. So, I got a bunch of these, right? A bunch, I got like three of these hard drives. So, I took all the information off of all these drives. And I put it on the new 14 gigabyte drive. So, or 14 terabyte drive. So, now I got a, instead of me having all those little drives, I got one 14 terabyte drive in here. Okay, I transferred all my programs over. I'm running off the 14 terabyte drive. Finding out that with the video card and two of the, of the SSD drives, you know, the plug-in drives, two of them, you got four channels. See, this motherboard has six channels. It has four intermediate channels and it has two side channels. Two side channels, if you got an M.2 drive plugged in, you can't use the two side channels. But if you got a video card plugged in, a discrete graphics card, you can't use three of the channels. So you're only left with one SSD channel and the M.2 channel. So I just wanted to bring that really clear real quick. And yes, I did change my shirt. If <coughs> excuse. Wow, excuse me. I did change my shirt. And yes, I still got my soda. But the thing is, is this. I have it all straightened around now. Um, I'm going to be rerunning my test on this graphics card. It seems that with me having those extra drives plugged in, it was causing a latency issue between the video card and, you know, the hard drives. So now I got it all straightened around. And now it runs just as smooth and just as great. Right now, I'm recording this video using the, the hardware encoder, the H.264 encoder, off of the, the video card. Just to test it, to see if, how it's working. And so far, I don't see a problem with it. So far, I don't see a problem at all with it. Seems like a little laggy, kind of, but it doesn't to me. It looks pretty good. You know, it's not software. Now I'm running off the hardware of the, the graphics card. So, yes, I'm running a test on it just to see how the video is going. But just to let you know, this is an updated video to, to the previous video. So that way I'm just like attaching them both together. So hopefully you all know that. But just to let you know, I got more testing on this graphics card coming up. Coming up on another video, which will be coming soon. 
So, but anyway, we're going to get out of here. If you love the videos, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Y'all know what I mean by 4,000 watch hours. Watch the videos from beginning to end. Puts more time on the channel. You watch not the same video, but want every one of the videos. I got over 200 plus videos, so it would be appreciated. And you want to help support the channel, just watch the videos. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I just wanted to bring that real quick. Until the next time in the next video, this is JJ on JJ's PC Builds. We will see you on the next one.